Midpen is one of the highest producers of high quality contemporary affordable housing in California, if not in the country. They are always ahead of the curve, whether that's building sustainable communities or bringing in an investor uh, that formerly wasn't in the tax credit business like Google, which is a first. You know, Midpen has uh, three major qualities, I think, that separates us from, uh, from other competitors or partners in this area. The first has been a very strong vision, and that vision is that there had to be a better way to create affordable housing. The second one is creativity. This is, as I said, is a very challenging business. There's obstacles all along the way, and Midpan has shown leadership over the years in being creative and how to put all those facets together. And the last quality is tenacity. Uh, I have seen the most impressive group of folks, starting with Fran Wagstaff and leadership today, that will not take no for an answer. And we've been very fortunate to have Matt Franklin come in and lead the organization and fill some very big shoes that Fran left. So, in my opinion, these are two of the most extraordinary leaders that, that I've had a coach to work with. We are committed to excellence, excellence in the execution and operational aspects of our work. We want to pick the best partners, general contractors, architects, service providers, so that collectively we can be great at what we do. One of the things that MidPen does to bring value to the city of San Jose and its residents is uh, that it, it not only builds the, the physical uh, housing, but it also brings the needed services. And they provide uh, resident services, they provide after school programs, and they're one of those affordable housing developers that really exemplifies how people and place come together. When we lived in Detroit, um, it was a really bad environment. There's a lot of gangs, and so we were concerned about our kids growing up over there and, and us getting mixed up in those things, and our kids getting mixed up in those things. So we decided that it would be a good idea to come out here to California and we'd have more opportunities. There's no other place like California in the Bay Area. It's so important, especially for our kids, to have such a, uh, a great uh, upbringing, a safe one and one that also uh, gives them understanding of other cultures around them. It's really important that I believe all families have this kind of community, and I believe that's what Open Doors uh, Apartments, Mid Peninsula, uh, does for a lot of families. Mid Peninsula provides stability. If we have four kids, there's no way we can afford to live, um, you know, and, and, and be stable in one way area. The rent goes up, we'd have to move. But the other thing is that it provides opportunities for us to spend more time as a family, I can stay at home and, and teach the kids. This is impossible to do if we had to pay uh, rent outside of Mid Peninsula. You know, we want them to grow up and and know, you know, who they are, why they are doing the things they're doing, give back to the community. Well, 40 years is a long time, but just like any other organization, we didn't just spring out of the ground. MidPen was founded in November of 1970 by a group of Stanford academics and Silicon Valley pioneers, including folks like David Packard, who is the co-founder of Hewlett Packard, and Ed Ginston, who is the founder of Varian. Two other Stanford folks was Bob Moulton, who was associate director for Stanford Linear Accelerator, and Janet Owens, who was an economist from Berkeley, who was very influential in, in establishing why affordable housing is a key uh, ingredient to improve communities. Those visionaries wanted to be associated with an organization that would be professional but had a very clear social mission. One of the challenges of our current environment is that there's a tendency to move up the scale, but the need is really greatest at the lower level of the scale. And so that is where MidPen is, has always focused, and that's one of the reasons why they are such an exemplary organization. Uh, Shelter Network of San Mateo County was originally founded in 1987 because of Mid Peninsula's vision. The organization was created to combine comprehensive social services and housing for homeless families and individuals. They were indispensable in our 
negotiations with neighborhoods and community groups who were frankly skeptical. And since 1987, Shelter Network has literally served thousands and thousands of San Mateo County and Santa Clara County residents. And that success story is attributable to MidPen's vision. Every housing organization has to pay attention to the bottom line. What's really special about MidPen is that for MidPen, the bottom line has always been the, the, the community and the people that are in the developments. I hate to think about um, where I probably would have ended up if I couldn't have gotten a place here. Probably homeless because I really don't know where I could uh, have afforded to, to live. This gave me the opportunity to have a place of my own, be independent, um, uh, rehabilitate more, do more things for myself. A lot of things that I'm doing now on my own, I'm able to do as a result of living at Mid Peninsula Housing. Maybe I will never get back to the point where I was before I had my accident, but I would like to get as far as I can. I see myself as instead of dying, I was given um, a reason to appreciate living. I may get sad, but um, as I said, here at Midpen, I have people that I can talk to, and I usually answer my own question, but it's just an ear to listen to, and I'm just happy about that. Midpen has been a leader in affordable housing, and, and some of that is, is because of the organization, and some of it is because of the people in that organization. The entire Bay Area housing scene is essentially made up of graduates from the Mid-Pen Housing Development Academy. I can't tell you how proud I am of our 280 employees. We've spent a lot of the last year talking about our purpose as an organization and really recommitting to that purpose. And you can just feel it when you go out to our properties. You can see it in the way that folks are maintaining the properties, interacting with residents on site, serving kids in homework clubs, going about their business here in headquarters. Uh, it's really a, a, a tremendous feeling uh, as a leader of the organization to see that commitment. For some people, having money is not really possible. A, a young woman with several children is widowed and suddenly she's in a hole she never thought she would be in. She's going to need help getting out and she's going to need a place where her children can grow up. Well, my ex-husband, he used to say that if you leave me, you're, nobody's going to help you. And, you know, he, he, scared, he scared me. So one day I say no more. So I call my friend and she called the police. They put us in a shelter. It's sad to live in a shelter because <sighs> that's the part that I hate to talk about. I tried to look for a um, place to live. Um, all the places where I went, they rejected because I'm a single mother. And they said, well, how are you going to pay the rent? When I came here, I met Ernesto and Lupita. They were so nice. Uh, they have a big heart. And then my daughter was there. She was like, mom, it looks like they're going to help us. Finally, we're going to leave the shelter. And I was like, I don't want them to feel it too exciting because you don't know. And then Ernesto say, you know what? We're going to try to help you in a week. It was a bliss because even in my work, it was hard for me to, to find a better job because um, when you don't have a good education, it's 
sad. I feel like like a bird when it's out of the cage. I think I'm still young to to think about my dreams. And one of my dreams, my goals, it's um, join National Guard and be a nurse. <laughs> That's what I want to be. Congratulations to MidPen Housing for 40 years of extraordinary leadership on affordable housing issues. Because of your remarkable efforts, more than 6,600 families have a safe, decent, affordable place to call home. And I hope our support shows that you have a partner in HUD and the Obama administration. I think what I'm really proud of is uh, that I've been able to be part of an organization that has helped really countless families to live in dignity. And I'm also proud of the fact that this organization and the communities, the many communities that we've developed, are all um, sustainable, they're financially strong, they're going to be here from generations to come to house families. I'd like to see MidPen continue to be an important leader in affordable housing for the Bay Area. We're going to do that by building on the strong vision that was set out by our founders 40 years ago and with the thoughtful, creative, uh, tenacious work of our staff that's been the key to our success to date and will be the key to our success going on in the future. Our vision for the future is clear. We work every day to create a world where everyone has access to safe, decent, affordable housing and where they can use the opportunity of living in that housing to advance their well-being. And for every senior or family that we serve, that may, uh, they may choose to advance their well-being in a different way. Could be about uh, securing a great education for their kids or advancing their own career, building assets for their household, focusing on improving the health for the, of their own health or their family. Whatever it is, we want to meet them where they are, use the platform of affordable housing uh, to change their lives. So we have shown that it's not about income, it's about giving people a chance to live and they will rise. Mm -hmm.